Alright, coming with our groceries down there. Bringing them over here. Gonna blow them all up. Good morning, everybody. It's Tuesday morning. Today is January 17th. Yes, January 17th. I got up this morning, got ready, woke Marco up. Well, he was already awake when I got up. And then um, took a shower, got ready, woke Ralphie up, got him ready, took him to school with Jetson, our neighbor boy. And then came back home, and then I had to go to a dentist appointment at 9 o'clock. I had to get two fillings done on my upper right, back upper right teeth, the very back. So that's kind of why my mouth is still numb. I can't, this lip is dripping down because I'm still numb up on this side. And, uh, Oh my gosh, it was so cold when he was doing that filling. I was freezing. I wasn't that cold, but it seemed like it got colder back there. And then, you know, I had that thing and I mouth he's holding my mouth open with. He had something drilled into my, something in my mouth and all this stuff. So it's not the most comfortable thing when you're getting a filling. And then you can't swallow, so you're like, you know, <clears throat> swallowing, but you can't really swallow. You know how it is. You can't really swallow, but you're trying to swallow. And so he probably was doing it for about... I say it took him about 20 minutes to do both those fillings, 15 to 20 minutes, somewhere around there. But I was so cold, like I was, my body kept twitching because I was cold. I should have left my coat on, shoot, and it was gonna be so cold back there. So anyway, I got that done, came back home. Brad's awake. Hey. I said you're awake. Good morning, y'all. Get milk. And he probably's gonna get ready and then um we have to go do a few things today. He has to get some product for the salon. We gotta stop at Walmart and get our groceries ordered online. I think we might stop at Aldi and see if we get a few things, maybe um Price Chopper or Hy Vee or other grocery store. But at least we don't have to go to Walmart, we can just stop by and get our groceries there. I bet the milkman don't come today because of the holidays. Does he normally come on Tuesday mornings? I thought it was Wednesdays. So, I thought it was Wednesday morning. Maybe it is once. Well, either or, we need to stop and get some milk. So. Yeah, we do. <clears throat> We're all out of milk. I should have ordered some at Walmart, but we was thinking the milk came today from our delivery from Chateau Milk. Doesn't come until tomorrow, I don't think. So we're completely out of milk. Tell me, drink some here. <clears throat> yeah, I gave Ralphie cereal with my lactate milk this morning. Okay. So all right. We'll be heading out after a while to run some of our errands. Okay, so we're out and about. Yeah. And because it hurts. We're getting ready to go. I still can't talk very well with my mouth. I'm still numb. I can't lick my lips very well either. We are going to All right. uh get ready to head to Walmart because we they called and uh our groceries are ready. It's about our time to pick them up. It's almost 12. That's good. So we're gonna pick them up and then we'll show you um where we go once we get there to pick them up. Okay, so here we are at Walmart. And what you do is go to the side of the building. We're over here passing the market side. That's the market side. And then right there. No, I'll be fine. I'll be good. It says pickup. And they have all the little pickup signs right there on the side of the building. So you pull back here, and that's people getting their groceries right there. This is where all the pickup happens. And then it even has a little number you can call. And they tell them you're here, and they will bring your groceries out to you. Our groceries down there, bringing them over here. Gonna blow them all up. Are these okay? All right, we got our groceries all in there. So that was it. We're all ready to go. So we got our groceries and they did have 
some substitutes this time. So they didn't have that last time, did they? Anything? They had three things they had a substitute, I guess they didn't have. And if you don't want it, she said, then we, they can take it off your list. And then, you know, of course, they'll credit you for what yeah. it was. But we were fine with this, the ones they had. Yeah, like I had uh, these Jimmy Dean turkey breakfast sandwiches. Turkey sausage breakfast sandwiches. I got the eight pack, but they didn't have the eight pack, so they just gave me two four packs, which is basically the same thing. But I think, do they do the price just with though that way? Well, I'm sure she they probably do. I didn't ask that. Or they, because I think it was a better deal for me to get the eight pack rather than two four packs, because two four packs was more expensive than the eight pack was. I'll have to look at. Did they give us a receipt in there? Our receipt is, is in the our, email. Yeah, it's in the email. I received. So we'll check it and see. But and then they didn't have our frozen onions that we get. They're the cube frozen onion, mm -hmm. and you just pop a cube in to whatever you're cooking with. And I love that. All they had was a bag chopped onions, and I, I said that was fine. We'll try that. See how it is. We might like it better. It's okay sometimes. Sometimes you want the real onions, of course. Right. And then for that, we have our nice onion wizard chopper that we just, I love that too. You just cut it in little fours and just push the thing down and chop some onions for you. I use that all the time too, so. So now we're gonna go, um. I use the frozen onions for like our crock pot meals or like soups is what I use it for. And then sometimes I use just the fresh onion too. So, um, it just kind of, depends on how quick I'm trying to do things. If I'm trying to do it real quick, I use just the frozen. If not, then I'll just chop it up myself. Yeah. So now we're gonna go to Aldi, because Aldi is right. You say Aldi's or Aldi, we were talking about that. I've always said Aldi's, but I've heard some people say Aldi, and actually the sign, it just says Aldi. There's no S on it, but I've always said Aldi's. But like Walmart, we don't say Walmarts, even though I have a friend at work that says Walmarts all the time, but I don't say Walmarts, I just say Walmart, but Aldi, I say Aldi's. Comment below, do you say Aldi or Aldi's? So anyway, a new one just opened up over here, not too far from Walmart, so uh, we've been in here once, but uh, we weren't vlogging, that's when we were off after Vlogmas, so uh, we'll vlog a little bit in here and show you what it looks like, the new one. We're just now pulling in. Okay, so here we are at Aldi. I guess I'll say Aldi. I think they've been open for a month now or something like that. It's been like a month. So, I'm gonna go ahead and get some stuff in here. We got to, uh, if you've never been to Aldi before, you have to put a quarter in to the grocery cart to unlock it so you can get a cart and then you when you put it back, you get your quarter back. It's not working. It's kind of like a deposit. It's not working. This one worked. Put the quarter in and unlock it. And then we'll get it back when we come back out. Or sometimes somebody coming in with a quarter will just give you the quarter and they'll take your cart.
All right, so we left the Aldi. Didn't get too much. Just got a few things. We got most of the stuff at Walmart, so we just uh, get a few odds and ends. They have some stuff, but not like everything you kind of need. We need to try to just work better, maybe getting more stuff here than what we do. Every time I come here, I feel like I don't have anything I need to get. I don't know why. Of course, we did just get a lot of stuff at Walmart, so uh, some of the stuff is pretty cheap here. So they're very competitive with Walmart prices, so and some things are cheaper. Like the canned goods and things like that are pretty cheap here, so. Now we have a closer one to go to that's nicer. So now we're just gonna go to Price Chopper, yet another grocery store, because there's a few things that I want. I wanted some deli turkey meat, but I like to get that at Price Chopper because they have better meat and stuff, so. I haven't tried the meat at Aldi before, so I don't care for the Walmart meat, but I'm not sure about Aldi meat, so. Anyway, and then my granola bars that I need to get that I can only find at Price Chopper or Hy-Vee. Somebody commented my granola bars that I get the um, the little, I don't even remember what they're called now. The Kellogg's, I think is what they are. The uh, Somebody commented that they have them at Dollar Tree, I think, but I looked and I couldn't find them there, so I have to go to Walmart and get them. But I like them, though. They're my favorite. I tried another different different kind before here at Aldi when we came last time, but I didn't like them. So I'll get those again. Stick to the ones I like, I guess. So now we're at Price Chopper, and we're going to try these Bear Creek bag soups. I, I don't know if we've ever tried this before or not. We've tried some bag soup, but Ashley watches the vlogs, and we're we follow her on Snapchat, she follows us. She's always posting different stuff. She uses it in the crock pot. Hi Ashley, if you're watching. And uh, she uses these Bear Creek soups, and she actually made one, it looked really good. So she was telling me, she just puts it in the crock pot for like, she just said, I just messaged her, and she said, either low for eight hours, she said you probably could do high for four hours. So, let's see what we have. We have Southwestern, Southwestern, there's urban butter, cheddar broccoli, beef, creamy chicken, and chicken. And she had a potato she was cooking today, but I don't see the potato. We might have to get that later because I don't think they have it here. So we'll decide what we want here. All right, so we got home and with all the groceries, I just did a grocery haul. So that will be up either before this vlog or after this vlog, one of the two. So I'm getting ready to make the soup. One of the soups that we got is the Bear Creek Southwestern. It's rice mix, I guess it's a soup. Or is this like a side? I don't, I'm assuming there's, I thought they're all soup, so I think this will be a, like a soup. It just says rice mix. Hearty rice and pasta, spicy blend with black beans, green peppers, and corn. Just add water. So I think it's gonna be like a soup. So I'm, I have my crock pot here. I have my crock pot liner for easy cleanup. So for two packages, it says three and a half cups of water for one package. So that'll be seven cups of water for two. So I'll put the water in and add that up and probably try cooking on high for four hours. So we made our rice here it's actually a rice not and it said rice on there i guess it is a rice i looked online and they have soups they have rice macaroni and cheese and then something else so it's not a soup at all it's a rice definitely like a fluffy it got kind of mushy and i stirred it up i don't know if i stirred it up too much but i put a thing of diced tomatoes in there because it didn't have very many tomatoes in there but so we ended up cooking some hamburger we're just going to have some little soft tacos with it with the rice so it works out anyway next time we know make sure it says soup if we plan on just having soup we'll get the potato soup or cheddar broccoli or whatever but that mexican one we got is definitely just a rice and we probably didn't need to make two bags of it because that's gonna be a whole lot there so anyway now we're gonna get ready to eat dinner here all right gonna end the vlog we had our soup tonight but it wasn't soup like i showed you it was rice so we ended up making tacos with it
and it was it wasn't too bad. It, I have a rice that I make, a Spanish rice that I make that I found. Um, I can't remember the brand. I may have shown it before. I made it with my um, enchiladas the other last week, and I like it better. I think I stirred it too much because I got really mushy too. I like my rice kind of like fluffy, but like usually like they'll say you don't stir it and then you just like fluff it with a fork at the end. But I stirred it because I didn't want it to burn and I didn't know if it was going to be like a soup at first, so I think that's why I ended up getting kind of mushy. But um, it was okay. I think we might like the soups better. And the other one we got was a chicken rice too, so we need to buy some soups and see how those are instead of the, the rice. But anyway, so... And then this evening we got a call from Ralphie's teacher because he's having problems in school. Again, he was doing good and then he, it kind of goes back and forth. They'll get a good letter from the teacher and then the next days, a few days after that, he'll be acting weeks, out again. you mean? Huh? You mean weeks? Weeks what? He's acting out. But I mean, he'll do good. He'll get a letter and then like the next day he'll be real bad. And he'll have a bad mark in school, but... She just said he's like really loud. He argues with her. He doesn't want to do what he's told. He wants to argue with the other students. And she's been having a lot of problems with him. And we don't know why he's doing that. She School's says he so acts bad. like he's a kindergartner, but tries to act like he's an older child, which, hello, he has a 14 year old brother. And so Marco and I had a talk tonight too about you need to be setting a good example for him. And by arguing with him when he's five and you're 14 is not a good example. So arguing with us and then arguing with Ralphie is not a good example. So he needs to start thinking about that because now Ralphie's trying to act like him and now he's getting in trouble at school. Mm -hmm. So, um, had to figure out what we need to do about this because we've tried we've tried so many different things we tried kind of a, like not being so hard on him kind of like not we told, told you that one time we we're going to kind of like just ignore his behavior for a while see if maybe that helped because we thought maybe he was liking the attention he was getting when he got in trouble that kind of worked for a while but then it stopped working and then sometimes we feel like okay maybe we're not hard enough we should like really be harder on him and then that doesn't work sometimes, and sometimes, I don't know. We, give him we try not being too hard, trying to be too hard. We try to praise him a lot, and we praise him about when he does a really good in school, when he's doing good in schoolwork. Like when he got when his he, letter last time we went to Starbucks. Yeah, when we when got, he got that a good butterfly letter. letter, and we kept telling him how good he was. And Mom called and said how good he was, and we thought, you know, he'll get all this attention saying he did really good, and he'll want to do good again. And, and they, Kaylin FaceTimed him. And yeah. It's like... They do good. Both him and his brother have a problem with like going back to being bad. They like do good and then they go back to being in trouble again. It's like they can't consistently stay on the right path. And no kid's perfect. Don't no, get us wrong. Exactly. No kid's perfect. Kids. kids are going to have issues. But these are overboard issues. Like, Look, we've gotten a call from Ralphie's kindergarten teacher four times. Four now? times four this times. year. I can see maybe once or so, maybe twice, but four times is quite excessive, we feel. So I she asked her calling that if, much. And I'm going to go meet with the principal tomorrow because I'm not for sure what they can do at school, what's legal, what's not legal. I said missing recess and he can go and sit with the counselor or the principal, which I know people disagree with that. But, I mean, you have to take fun things away sometimes. And the teacher don't take recess away, she'll... He, he won't get to go play with them at first because she talks to him and then lets him go play. But maybe just taking it away or maybe when he starts arguing, put him in a chair facing the wall away from everybody and just cut it off and just be like, go sit in a chair facing the wall or the corner or something. I don't, I don't know. Like, I don't know what else to do. We've tried everything. I've tried a chart. We tried a chart for like a month, month and a half, and nothing. He didn't care about it at all. Actually, he started hiding his behavior chart from us 
when we started the chart. Yeah. So. So we just gotta try to figure out what we do. You know, we don't. It's discipline and parenting is very touchy subject, especially on YouTube, because we'll say things and a lot of people don't agree with how. Well, they think we're too hard on this. They don't think we're hard enough on that. You know, we mentioned before, maybe him not having recess at school, and people say, no, that's don't take away his recess because he needs that to get his energy out, which I agree. But at the same time, he's, we thought maybe that might work, maybe because he really likes recess, so maybe that would help him. Okay, I don't want to be bad because I want to go to recess. But, you know, it's just, we have to try to figure out what we were to, how we're going to do this. So we try not to talk too much about the parodying in the vlogs because we get so many opinions on the vlogs. Not that we don't appreciate them. And people don't understand. But everybody parents different. And so people don't understand. Saying, like when you have your own kids, it's different. When you have when you've taken on kids that's been in the system, it's way different. Mm -hmm. Like it's hard to explain. You just don't know till you're a foster parent yourself, and you're doing it yourself. And it because is I even because ask they've been through more too. My but. sisters, I ask my I asked my mom, I asked Brett's mom, I went over talked to the neighbors, like all three of my neighbors, like they don't know what to do cuz they said they would do the exact same thing we've been doing. Mm -hmm. And just nothing's working. We've talked to therapists about it and the therapist said we're doing the right thing. So, and I even, mean, even you guys say that. You guys will say we've done a really great job raising these boys. You're constantly telling us that you all so many people will tell us that but then we're like okay why are they doing this then if we're doing such a good job why are they acting this way so and the therapist would even say that to us mm -hmm. but she know. doesn't know she marco she was even marco's doing better though behavior wise mm -hmm. in school he's just having some issues struggling with some of his grades but ralphie's just his behavior is getting really bad right now so we're having to deal with that but anyway so and all the therapists tell us that Ralphie don't really need the therapy because he's been with us for the majority of his life. Well, basically all of his life except for 10 or 11 months. And they said, you know, that that he doesn't need therapy. So I don't know why he's acting like this because he knows the rules. He knows how to act, you know, but I don't know. I don't know. We kept thinking maybe it was a phase he was going through when he started doing better, but then, I don't know. We'll see. And it could be the teacher, too. We don't know. Sometimes they say it's the teacher. I don't know. She seems nice, but I, don't, I have no idea. So, I don't know. We'll see. Hopefully, we can get something figured out, and he'll get his behavior turned around. So, anyway. All right. So, we're going to go ahead to bed. i got to go back to work tomorrow. It was nice to have my three days off, though. I love my three-day weekends. So, all right. Well, thank you all for watching. Please comment, thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and we'll see you all in our next vlog. Good night. Good night, y'all.